Okay everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you what you can do in case you see this. So on your iPhone you may have noticed that you get a pop-up or basically it's just going to show you that you're not able to back up your iPhone for whatever reason. So if I just open up my settings like this, um, when I get there, you can see that at the top I have my thing right here where it's my profile and everything and under it at the bottom you can see there's this like one button like badge and if you click on it it says you, your iPhone can't be backed up now this is kind of important in case you use your iPhone and you use it a lot you want to like make sure that you like get uh, of course all of the data that you have like backed up in this case it's very important but in this case if you want to save it or to back it up this is going to allow you to upgrade to your iCloud Plus subscription. This is what they want you to do. Because you can pay like a dollar or euro a month for 50 gigabytes, but chances are that your iPhone is going to take up even more storage than that. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend you to just go with this. Or you can upgrade to like this or even two terabytes a month, which is another option uh, as well. Anyways, the thing is that it looks like I just disappeared from the screen. But the problem is that, or the issue is that, it, this is not the only method. Besides that, there's also the option to back up your iPhone locally. Like right now, I have my iPhone connected to my computer. You can see it right here that if I go to my finder, I can actually find my iPhone right here. So this is what it looks like, it's iPhone 15 and everything. And basically, I can back it up right now. You can see there's literally the button to back up now. So if it tells you that your iPhone can be backed up, it is only referring to the iCloud backup and it gives you the option to upgrade to more storage, but this is not the only method. Other method also includes backing it up locally on your computer, so you can do it that way as well. So this is what I wanted to explain to you here is what you need to do in case your iPhone just tells you that your iPhone can be backed up like this. As you can see, it's still in my settings, so this is what you need to do. Besides that, I also need to show you this, which is the Fox Tech educational platform, which you can join for free. It's going to be linked down below in the description, and you can watch many different courses, in-depth iPhone guides, video editing tutorial, full course on Dynamic Island to get the most out of it. Definitely something worth taking a look at, but that's going to be, uh, that's going to be about it. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys later. <laughs>